Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Kida Major Robo Series 02 Machine Gatai DX King Express set from Machine Sentai Kida Major. So I am still really excited about this. I've seen a lot of people online trash this guy, uh, but we'll see how it goes. I still think it's going to be really fun. You have two trains, as you can see here, forming one large super robot, as they are wont to do. Um... You can see here, this is, um, and I'm completely blanking on that guy's name, but that's the villain. He sometimes drives the black and purple train. And then, of course, the Kira Majors will be driving the white train. I think that's pretty cool. You can actually put them all together to form one long train, which is pretty cool. And then here is just the two trains separately coming head to head. Uh, but if we take a look at the back, it is basically saying how there's two trains. You can put them into one train. Obviously, you have the T-Rex formation, and then you have the combined robot formation. So, in this form, he is called Smog Jokey. Uh, in this form, obviously, he is King Express. And then it says down here that these are the Kirame Stones. And then you have Machine Jokey and Machine Express. Those are the two separate vehicles. But I still think they look cool. I like the color schemes. I think this guy looks awesome. I really like the head sculpt and everything. So, I'm still optimistic. But uh, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get this guy out of the box here, and we'll take a closer look. Alright, so here are the five pieces of train that you get in the box here. You can see there are two parts to the Machine Express. Kind of a boring cube part, but you can see it does have the sparkly pieces here. This is basically the crystal form, or gem form, whatever you want to call it. It's got some nice hollow foil stickering under there, which is always fun. But yeah, that's basically it for that. Um, here is the front of the train, which I'm thinking, it looks like it has teeth. And then I believe these are eyes. So I don't know if this is going to be like a shark or something. Uh, so far on the show, we've seen um, Smog, what is this guy's name? Smog Jobby? Sm Smog Jokey. Sorry, my mistake. Smog Jokey, plenty of times move around and be a train, be a dinosaur, whatever. We haven't really seen this do anything yet. We've kind of seen like a, a crazy like flash of it moving like um, Jules saw it kind of fly by in his dream or his hallucination, whatever you want to call it. And then at the very end, we saw kind of an outline of King Express, but we haven't really seen these function as this is some kind of animal or even as jewels. You can see the jewel under here is kind of uh, sparkly. So if you want to turn this into the jewel form, and this has uh, two joints, as you can see, because the first time I tried to pull this and these two pieces pop right off. They connect right back on, not a big deal, but make sure you move the double joint there. And then there you go. There is the jewel form for this. So here are the two smaller jewels. Kirame stones as it is. Uh, so we'll put them off to the side for the moment. And then you have the other three pieces having to do with um, smug jokey here obviously you can see the dinosaur head really nice red for the eye nice silver here I love the jaw the translucent pieces are fun I think the purple and the black go really well together especially with the silver that's really sharp here is the back piece of the train which has the pop out chainsaw which that has got to be the sparkliest chainsaw you ever saw come on now that is very sparkly, so I like that. That's fun. Both sides. Metallic purple paint, very sharp. like that quite a bit. You can see that the black train is actually kind of translucent. Maybe you can't see it that well, but if I had some light to shine through. Let me see. I probably do. Let's find my little flashlighty gimmick. Here we go. So you can see... It is kind of a very dark, translucent plastic, which is pretty cool. So that is the back piece, and then you have this larger piece, which is kind of the main section, I would say. It's going to become the legs. You can see a little bit of the crotch plate there, painted red. Very sparkly. Uh, how this works is you bend this down, and then click that together and that's going to be the front of the stone as you can see 
uh, you're going to take these pieces and they have a clip right here and a clip right here so you clip this on right there and then this clips on right here and then that's how you form the full stone so here are the stone forms for the three now I think I could use a little bit more sparkly purple on this one but it's still pretty cool and I think it's neat how these kind of fit pretty snug back here the only thing is when you're moving this one around these pieces on the side tend to be a little loose and it's because of how they transform which we'll get to in a minute um, but when you're handling this part of the stone it's very easy to kind of want to pick it up by the side and this piece starts to move which it's not a huge problem but it's just kind of a bummer but again love the metallic purple I think that all looks really good so if we take this and flip this back out we can make the full train so I have to remember which way this goes I think this piece clips on you can see there's two clips right here and they're gonna go into this little recess right there so clip that on like so and then come to the back and you're gonna do the same thing there's a little recess pop that in and then here you go it's a pretty long train and the thing that's kind of funny is the clips are not the strongest um, you can see here that this kind of like basically just kind of falls out and it's really weird um, why they chose to do it this way I'm not super sure or why it's not that strong but you can just kind of like fold it in now if you shake it like this it's not going anywhere but as soon as you go like that it falls right off so up and down great side to side not so much but it'll go in and it'll hold if you're just going to use it as a train on a table it's not going to fall apart uh, this side a little bit more connectable in the front holds the connection a little bit stronger uh, so that is the smog jokey train if you take the express uh, pop this section back down and that will kind of light, uh, lightly click in there and then you're just going to you can see the recesses there pop that in and then here is the machine express which I think looks pretty cool I like the color scheme I know it's mostly white but you have red and blue I mean that's a classic color scheme which I think always looks good I think it looks pretty sharp and I really like how it has that kind of like shark mouth on the front. I hope that gets explored or at least explained later on. But you can see there's a connector port right here. So you can come connect it on here. And now you have a pretty long train, I gotta say. I would say that that's two feet long, maybe? By the time you're done? Pretty crazy. Uh, also, you can kind of take this off if you want. And then you can have maybe two slightly less longer trains. Obviously, if you want to keep them separate, you can put this back on. And then you have this guy being very much shorter. <laughs> I would say he's a third, probably a third of the total length of Smog Jokey. But I like him. I think it's fun. So first, we're going to check out the uh, dinosaur, Godzilla, Kaiju, whatever you want to call it, form for Smog Jokey here. All right, so you can see I've taken him back apart into his three main components. You're going to want to take this piece and pop this back down and uh, peg it in together, just like you're putting it back into the Kitame stone form. You're going to take those pieces that I complained about moving around a lot uh, earlier, and you're going to flip them all the way around. You can see that there's a little plastic tab which is going to stop them, so that way you can just rotate all the way around until it stops. The arms you're going to rotate down. They will come down again and lock in place. Now these you can really, I guess you can go all the way around with these. So just kind of put it where you think it looks good. Bring that down. And there you have most of the body. You're going to take these two pieces and those two clips that we used earlier, you're actually going to slide it in from the bottom. So take this and slide them in like that and they'll lock in place. Then you're going to take this front connection and peg that into this top connection here. I'm going to tilt the camera up slightly. We're going to peg that in. And I don't know what it is, but whenever I do it on mine, it automatically makes that flip down. I don't think it's a feature. I just think it's gravity, but it's fun to me to just kind of have this. And as soon as you connect it, boom, mouth pops open. Uh, and then you're literally just going to bend this down and it just lays across the back. And then you're going to flip out the chainsaw as his tail. You probably want to put it at an angle. And so there you go. There is the T-Rex mode for Smog Jokey. I think it's cool. It's very simple. And it doesn't really have 
any articulation other than the jaw. Um, I still think it's neat. It's a cool little trained dino. I'm not going to complain. The only thing I would say would be nice. Um, they could have put little clips here so that when this went down, it kind of locked in place back here. Now, the gravity does keep it in place, so it's not that big of a deal. But I just feel like sometimes when you move it around, this flops around a little bit. And then if they just had just a little clip, you know, mechanism right here so that this just went and clipped in like that. It fits fairly snug, but a clip would have been nice. Then you have the chainsaw tail. You can't go wrong there. I guess technically you can move the foot around if you want to. Um... But I don't really know how that would help you. And you can move the arm. You do have this movement. You can uh, have him move this arm a little bit. So, I mean, let's put it this way. He's got more articulation than Sentai, Sentai toys usually do. So, we'll say that. I still think he's cool. He's a goofy little dino. I think it's pretty pretty impressive that they could make a coherent dino out of a long train. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that. I mean, can't really fault him there. But again, love the color scheme. Black and purple always look cool together, especially for evil mecha. So I think that's really, really cool. I'm going to go ahead and take him back apart, and we'll start with the King Express combination. All right, so as you can see, I'm back to the five individual pieces. We're going to take this piece again. We're going to flip it down, but instead of putting it all the way down and pegging it together, we're going to leave it about here. You're going to come down to this section. He actually has little toes that you're going to flip out which is a little bit easier said than done. You can kind of push down on these pieces to get them to come around. Pop out his little toesies. And again, these pieces want to move around the feed from Smog Jokey, but nothing you can do. So there you go. There is the legs. He's tiny. He's a tiny guy. I feel like Smog Jokey is bigger than King Express. You're going to take this piece, you're going to pop it down like this, this connection here is gonna peg in right there. Boom, there's your torso. We're gonna swing the camera up. Gonna take this, pop it on his arm one. Gonna take this, pop it on his arm two. And you can see this thing kind of moves around, but you don't want it to. Then you're gonna take this, you're going to split this in half. It's gonna flip out to the side. You can see the head. I think the head looks pretty cool. I like the shades, the visor that he has. And again, you have the red, yellow, uh, and white, and blue. Colors all look really good together, in my opinion. You're going to take this connector right here and peg that in right on top. So you just drop it in. And there you go. There is King Express. He's a tiny guy. I'd say he's pretty much the same size as Kira Majin. I'll get Kira Majin in a minute. We can compare him. But uh, I don't know. I think he's cool. Uh, he's got arm articulation. He can move around. Now, of course, you can flip out the chainsaw to give him a chainsaw arm. You don't have to. You can do kind of like a Wolverine thing where he doesn't have it out all the time. Deploys, retracts, whatever you prefer. You do have a chomping hand, you know, for chomping. But I think it's cool. I mean, like I said, is it perfect? No, I'm not going to say it's perfect. It's not a Transformer. It's a Sentai toy. I think you have to go in with your expectations, you know. You know what you're going to get. It's a Sentai toy, but I think it's fun. Love the color scheme. I think the juxtaposition of the um, yellow, red, white, and blue up here with the black and purple is neat. I think it works. Um, you know, it breaks up the colors a little bit. I think if it was black and purple all over, it might be a little too much. I love the head sculpt. I think that's great. Wish the head could turn from side to side. I feel like they could have put that in, but they didn't. I feel like that wouldn't have been too hard to make the head turn from side to side, but not a big deal. Uh, pretty much, let's see, can you move? You can move the torso. So don't sleep on that little bit of articulation. You can move the torso around. Um, legs don't really move in any way, but he does have toes, which I'm surprised about. Uh, technically, I guess if you want to deploy dino feet, that is something you could do. But overall, at the end of the day, I think he's fun. I really do like the color scheme. I love the head sculpt. I love the dino arm. You know, he's not perfect, but I kind of love him. All right, so here is Kira Majin for that comparison. I would say they're about the same size. Technically, King Express is probably slightly taller. Um, just slightly. But I think they look cool together. I like them. I'm excited to see them on the show together. The one thing that's kind of a bummer 
Um, actually, no, you know what? I'm wrong. He does have a little divot here. So if we retract the chainsaw and we plug this in, he can use the weapons. Fantastic. I was afraid he wasn't going to be able to. I thought, well, chainsaw arm, uh, T-Rex head arm, he's not going to be able to use any weapons. I was wrong. They thought ahead. I'm kind of impressed. I'm kind of impressed. I'm really glad he can use the weapons. First of all, I think this combination looks kind of cool right here, but I'm excited that future things and future weapons and other things that are going to come out, he will be able to use them, so that's fantastic. Now, I know a lot of people are kind of trying to speculate, do these combine in any way? I mean, the directions really don't tell you, but to be fair, the directions for this guy are very sparse. They show you how to do the T-Rex, and they show you how to do King Express. They don't show you the individual uh, jewel or stone forms. They don't show you how to combine the train. Not that they're super difficult to figure out, but I'm surprised that the directions don't show you all the things the toy can do. You kind of have to just look at the box and figure it out, and that's weird to me. Um, so maybe there is a combination that they're keeping quiet. I don't know. It's very possible. Like I said, the directions could just not tell us. I don't know. Um... Looking at these, I don't really see a ton of places. I've noted before that Kira Majin has clips in his feet, which I'm sure will clip onto something that becomes shoes later on. On the back, I don't really see anywhere for something to attach to the back or the back of the legs or anything in this area. Um... As far as this guy goes, he does not really have clips. Now, to be fair, he has these clips, which were used in the train mode. And he's got this little heel piece, which I feel like could, again, fit into some kind of shoes or something later on. He's got this connection here, which would be very simple to clip something onto. I mean, I could easily see in some other crazier combination, you know, doing something like this. Well, actually, I guess this only connects... Now, okay, so there goes that theory. I was going to say we could connect that on, but he's got the two connections there, so that doesn't really work. But, I mean, you could do something where... Come along now. If you didn't want to use this piece, you could, you know, use this as an arm or something. So if we would connect this here, you know, you have this connection piece. You could do something like this where this becomes like a crazy arm then later on where it connects up here or something like that. Um, now I guess, to be fair, let's try this. And I'm just messing around here at this point, just having fun with these things, seeing all the different possible things that we can do. So if I put this on, you could technically like bring these down or do something with this. I don't know what. That, actually, you know what? That's kind of cool. I kind of like that. put these at like a better angle that's very like i don't know crazy giant robotish but anyway if we were to use this wow all right we could do that apparently all right so after i put these guys back together what i was trying to show off is they are the same arm connections so you know you could swap out some arms here and while i don't really think he looks that great with the shovel i think kid imagine with the giant uh chainsaw arm actually looks pretty cool Especially if you extend this. And then you can kind of have, uh, you know, some crazy some crazy arms of death or something going on there. So I think there are possibilities. There's not probably going to be a ton of crazy things. But one thing I did kind of notice, and this is a problem. So these things are very cool. I like them as shoulder pads. They do limit the arm articulation. You can only really go about that far. But if you at all by accident move the shoulder blades up, like... And I will say that while I'm trying to connect things, it happens a lot. If you move these up at all, it like completely kicks that off because it's very just tentatively pegged in here. It's a very tiny connection. It drops right in. Um, it almost reminds me of like, remember one of those toys where like you would shoot the missile at something and it would kind of make the piece fly out at you. That's what it feels like. If you move this at all, it's like, oh no, battle damage. I don't know. Maybe you can use it. Maybe you can... Maybe it can work in the show somehow. Anyway, but so anyway, it, it just, it's very loosely clicked on there. Just be careful with it. It's not a problem. Again, gravity is your friend. It will keep it in place most of the time. Just maybe if you want to switch up some arms, maybe just take it off, 
go ahead, unpeg this, unpeg this, peg that back on, and then just drop that right back on. It's very easy to take on and off. Just be careful with it. But I do appreciate that it's the same arm connections there. I think that's cool. I think there's some possibility for, you know, mix and match possibilities, interconnectivity, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. I do appreciate that he can use the weapons. He does at least have that going for him. Other than that, I don't really think, other than arm swapping, I don't think there's a way that these are going to completely combine together. I just, I don't see it. I could be wrong. Maybe they'll find it. Maybe they're trying to keep it quiet. That's why they didn't put it in the directions and they're going to astound us on the show and they want to keep us. I mean, with the way they hide scans and everything now, maybe they just want to surprise us. I wouldn't mind. But I feel like there's someone on the internet would have figured it out by now if it was possible. <laughs> He's been out about a week. I don't know. I feel like someone would have figured it out. In any case, I still think he's fun. So that's going to do it for King Express. I'm not going to lie. I still love him. I guess I'm easy to impress. I completely understand the concerns I've seen on Twitter. I get it. I can't really argue them. Uh, you know, the headpiece does flip off fairly easily. The train mode does not hold together the best. It could be a lot more secure. Uh, but I still, I'm having a good time. I think the trains are fun. I love the T-Rex mode. I love the robot mode. Color schemes are great. Head sculpts, great. Um, the fact that he's probably not going to have a full combination with Kira Majin is a bummer. I'm not going to lie, but you can do some arm swapping. This guy can at least hold the weapons. I'm really glad that they didn't miss out on that. Just giving him that little handhold there, I think is a really big deal and really just adds more to the toy. That would have been a lot of playability. He would have lost out on if they didn't do that. So I still think he's fun. I, like I said, for everything that I like about him, there's not enough to not like about him to push me into that camp. I'm sorry. I just think he's fun. Now, do I think the mini plot is going to be even more exciting? Probably, because that's going to have more freedom, more posability. You know, there'll be more things you can do with that more than likely. So will the mini plot be better? Maybe. But in the meantime, I'm still loving on this one. And hey, I don't have to put stickers on it. So that's a win in my book. But yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Please like, share and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thank you so much for watching.